Well, companies are participating in a coral competition, which will help benefit arts throughout the tri-state. Drew Lachey, who you know, knows a thing or two about singing and dancing, will be hosting this very special event. He's here this morning to tell us all about Since He Sings. Genuinely good guy as well. Drew, thanks so much for stopping by, man. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Okay. So tell me a little bit about how Since He Sings is going to come together. Well, Since He Sings is a, um, an arts wave uh, fundraiser, basically, to, to get the community involved in their, in their big campaign this year. Um, and what they've done is they've gone out to different, different companies around the tri-state area everything from P&G to GE, Duke, uh, you name it, just nine big, massive local corporations. Um, and they've done basically individual talent shows. And then they've selected a representative. They're going to send their representative to the Aronoff on April 9th, 7 p.m., um, to basically have, you know, the battle of the bands, you nice. know. So um, it's a way to get local corporations and the community involved. Because um, that's the biggest thing about ArtsWave is a lot of people think, all right, ArtsWave, they give to, a, you know, over 100 organizations. But what they don't know is that it's not just one great big donor. It's the community. Right. It's, it's like 40,000 donors that they're trying to get this year to raise over $12 million. So, um, you know, they, they really rely on the community involved involvement to get in and you know any donation helps. And with some of those companies the thing that uh, I'm sure you shocked because I've seen a couple of the events too is you go wait a minute how is that guy at P&G or how is that woman over here at Children's Hospital right. when she can flat out belt or he can flat out belt or have you been surprised by the level of the talent? I have absolutely um, you know er everybody from from I, I hosted the P&G uh, version of it uh, and I was I was I mean th these are lawyers right. I'm like these, these <laughs> right. aren't singers these are lawyers right. and they're getting up there and they're just like blowing singing their faces off um, so yeah I mean I've, I've been really really shocked um, it just goes to show you there's talent everywhere yeah. so so you know next time you're going through the shopping market and you look at the cashier she might be able to really sing <laughs> she you never know you it. never know yeah and one of the things that you mentioned with arts wave and all the different things they have done you and i had a conversation not long ago just about how sort of amazing the arts are in our community mm -hmm. you, you've been to la and new york talk a little bit about what we have here in terms of our arts community? Well, I think for, for a large degree, people don't realize how blessed we are to have such, such a strong arts and uh, cultural center here in Cincinnati. Um, you know, we, we are kind of our, uh, we're a big small town or a small big town, however you look at it, right. um, but we have the opera, the symphony, the ballet, not to mention all the other local theater organizations. We have lots of concerts that come through. We really are blessed to have all these things that are at our fingertips. And a lot of that is due to ArtsWave and the support of our, our local arts uh, donors. Um, so for us to be able to, as artists, to be able to get out there and perform, whether it's through through Children's Theater, whether it's the CSO, whatever it is, to have this, this strong base of, of donors that are going to give and support it just keeps our, our cultural heartbeat going in the city, which, which you know, separates us from all of our neighbors. Yeah, and, and it's one of those things that, you, as you say, a, a lot of people maybe haven't sunk their teeth in as much as they could, but there really is something for everybody. You know, whether it's a, you've got a family, you need to get the kids out and do something, or, you know, uh, young professionals, there's always uh, something for folks out there. Let's talk a little bit about the event, when it's happening, how people can kind of take part in all that kind of stuff. So uh, April 9th, 7 p.m., it's, it's right down here at the Aronoff. It's at the P&G Theater. Great, big, beautiful theater. If you haven't been in there yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> it's a great event. You have tickets for 20 bucks, or you have our VIP tickets for $50, which is a meet and greet and, and cocktails and things beforehand. So uh, it's a great family event. Bring your family down. It raises money for a, a, a fantastic cause and also gets just the community involved in what is, you know, like I said, our cult cultural heartbeat here in Cincinnati. So. And we've got a link on local12.com so you can find out more about ticket information. And while I've got you here very quickly, uh, talk about Lachey Arts and other things you've got going on right now. Yeah, I mean, that, that's another reason why I'm so passionate about it is uh, I have a nonprofit arts organization. Um, you know, we have a performing arts camp that happens uh, two weeks during the summer, Lachey Arts. So, uh, you know, kids ages 12 through 19, if they're really, really passionate about the arts, they want to get involved. We bring people in from Broadway and from Hollywood who have done, you know, I think we've done over 25 Broadway shows among our faculty. Wow. Um, so we, we're just bringing in another level of arts education here into the area. And because like I said, we have, we have the people here that want to do it, that people that thrive off of that. Um, so we're just trying to add another service, another way to educate our kids in the arts. Great. Find out more about Lachey Arts. We'll get a link up uh, to that as well. Drew, thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks it was for good being to see such you. a good guy and uh, taking care of us at uh, 12 degrees uh, not long ago. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we 32. appreciate that. <laughs>